this video is all about solving the following equation for angles between 0 and 360 degree now we have a question where you say 1 plus sine theta is equal to 2 cos theta square equal to 0 so but before I start I want to use this medium to appreciate my subscribers my viewers I want to also appreciate my new subscribers and I also want to use this medium to urge my viewers to please subscribe like comment and share this video thank you let's begin now the question that i want to let me change it to white now the question is one plus sine theta minus two cos square theta equal to zero now for us to do this question you need to you know when you look at these questions you have a sine and a cosine so it will not flow well what we need to do is to change this cosine to sine so for us to do that we now use this ideology where you have let's say here is one here is theta here is x and here is y from this expression here is 90 from this expression sine theta is equal to x is opposite to this angle theta so it should be equal to x all over 1 which is equal to x so sine theta is equal to x and cos theta is equal to what adjacent all over hypotenuse we are using what the, the acronym socatua so we're using socatua so now when you look at it now the, the cos the cosine is adjacent all over hypothesis so the adjacent to the angle is t, is y so we have y all over one which is equal to y so now if you look at this properly now you will now see that using Pythagoras theory you have x squared plus y squared equal to 1 applying Pythagoras theory and since sine theta sine theta is, is equal to has been proven to be equal to x and cos theta has been proven to be equal to y substituting into this equation you now have sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one now if you now move this sine square theta, sine square theta to this other side you have cos square theta equal to one minus sine square theta because this is positive it moves to this other side it becomes negative so you have cos square theta equal to one minus sine square theta so now substituting it into this equation in this place now let's go to the next you have the question is one plus sine theta minus two cos square theta equal to zero now one plus sine theta minus we if we, if we substitute that equation you have one minus sine square theta equal to zero so now we now have one plus sine theta minus if you open all these brackets minus two times one times plus one you give it minus two minus two times minus sine square theta you give you plus two sine square theta equal to zero because minus times minus is plus so we have gotten this now we have to rearrange it we have two sine square theta plus sine theta plus 1 minus 2 equal to 0 so you have 2 sine square theta plus sine theta plus 1 minus 2 will give you minus 1 equal to 0 so now so since we have gotten this we will now look for factor of 2 and minus 1 that when you multiply them when you, there is a way you arrange them you multiply them it will give you when you multiply them and sum them up it will give you plus sign plus plus one now the factor of two is one 
two and one. Then the factor of um, minus one is minus one and one. So two times one will give you plus two. One times minus one will give you minus one. So when you add this, you get uh, you get you have plus one. So that is this times this, this times this. So now that means we are going to use this. To, we're going to split this plus sine theta into plus 2 minus 1. So you will now have 2 sine square theta plus 2 sine theta minus sine theta minus 1. So I just wrote this minus 1 here. You know, this expression plus sine theta is now plus 2 sine theta minus sine theta. So plus 2 sine theta minus sine theta will give you this. So now, when you look at these two, the, the factor, the, the what is the factor that is common to both sides? You have two sine theta is common. So if you if you use two sine theta to divide this term here, you now you are left with sine theta. Sorry, you are left with. Hey. You're left with um, sine theta. Now, if you use this sine square theta to divide these two sine, there, there are two sine theta to divide two sine theta, you have plus one. Now, what is common here? You have minus one that is common, minus one. If you use minus one to divide minus sine theta, you have sine theta. If you use minus one to divide minus one, you have plus one is equal to zero so minus minus divided by minus is plus so that is it so now this when you look at it again sine theta plus one is common so you you eliminate that 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 is common which is sine theta plus one so if it if you eliminate sine theta plus one at this term here you have two sine theta now this other term if you remove this one that is common you have minus one which is equal to zero so therefore sine theta plus one is so you know if this if the product of these two gives you zero that means either sine theta plus one is equal to zero or two sine theta minus one is equal to zero now, working out for this, if you move this plus 1 to this other side, it becomes sine theta minus 1. Now, to solve this, you have theta to be inverse, inverse sine theta minus 1. This can also be written in this form. You can say at arc sine minus one now if you look at the quadrant now if you look at the quadrant now you have here is um let's say this is the angle we're looking for yeah you now Let's say here is minus one, here is one, here will be zero. If here is zero, that means this is also almost parallel with this. So the angle will be the angle will be what 90, which is minus 90 for this. So now or for this, if you move this expression to this side, you have two. If you move minus one to this other side of the equation. You have two sine theta equal to one. So minus one going to this side comes plus. Now dividing both sides by two, you have sine theta on the left hand side equal to one all over two. So theta will be equal to arc sine one all over two. So what will be the angle? The angle here now will be now let's clean this again 
Okay, let me clean this. Now, where sign is positive, sign is positive here, sign is positive here. So sign is positive here and is positive here. So this is a positive value, meaning that it can either be here, which means the, the hypothesis is two, this side is one. So here is starting from this expression, starting. Okay, this is character of three. Here she is 60. So if it is here, here yeah, 30, here is 1, here is square root of 3. Now you see sine is positive here and here. So here is half 30, then the next one is 180 minus 30, which will give us what? 150. So, so the degree here now should be 30 degree or 150 degrees. Now, but so, but this one is minus 90. So, minus 90 cannot be part of it. Cannot be part of it. Or I can now change this, changing this to. So it, if I want to change it, to, that means here is 270, which is, a, the angle is at this point. So it's 270, but minus 90 is the same thing as 270 degree. But at this, okay, that is the point where you have sign is negative here. But it's positive here, it's positive here. So, so the angle between 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 360 should be this and 13, 150, and 270 degree. So that is the final answer. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thank you.